Namaskar. Welcome. I wanted to pop on today and just share a short practice for this exact moment that we're all in here in the US together today and tomorrow. And for probably a little while after the election, there's such a heightened sense of anxiety, what's going to happen, it's all unknown, even with a decision that will come, there's still so much unknown and so much unrest. And so there's a couple different ways to navigate your life when you're in situations like this. And one of those ways is to ground down and to really feel your body connecting with the earth. This is important because it's very easy to kind of get into this kind of energy where we're unsure of how to even navigate our days. And the second is to go inwards, to calm the mind, to calm the body, and to really self-regulate that kind of frantic energy. So this practice is actually going to be a combination of the two. So we're going to start with some grounding standing poses and move into a few twists, which will bring us into the present moment, and then move into a few supported forward bends to just really calm the mind, calm the agitations, and calm that unknown energy that we're always in, but that feels so much more heightened now. So I want you to just start by taking a simple cross-legged seat. I want you to bring your hands to your thighs, sit up straight. You can notice that I'm sitting on top of a bolster. It will help you to sit on some height. If you just sit on the floor, you're gonna feel your back and your hips. And if you take some height under your buttocks, you'll be in a much better position to stay here for just a few minutes. We're just gonna stay for a few minutes. So hands on your thighs, close your eyes, and just turn your awareness to your breath. Watch your inhalation and exhalation, which seems easy, but is actually quite difficult. So you have to turn your focus inside. And you might notice that when you turn your focus inward on your breath, that you start to deepen your breath. That's okay. Allow the breath to flow in and out through your nose. And just take a moment to press your sitting bones into the support that you're sitting on to lift your chest any amount without strain and to take a deep breath with a long exhalation, allowing your shoulders to drop down your back. So you're not hard pressing anything together, but you're just taking that tension that lives in the neck and shoulders and allowing yourself to relax. Separate your teeth, wet your lips, blow a little bit of air behind your lips, and then join your palms together in front of your heart. We'll take one ohm together. Om being the universal sound that unites us all. Take a slow, smooth, even inhalation. Om. 
Once again, soften your shoulders, gently bow your head. Just take a moment to acknowledge that which lies within us always, which is love. And then bring your hands down, palms up. Raise your head with your eyes closed. And slowly allow the light to pierce in. Slowly open your eyes. Pick up a block if you have one, or a stack of books will do if you don't. And we're gonna take a couple of standing poses. So take the block off on the high side, high height onto the right side of your mat and stand with your feet in Tadasana in the center of your mat. Take a little bit of space between your feet today so that we're not worried about balance by bringing the feet together, but then instead there's a grounding down, an ease of balance. And bring your hands down by your sides. Close your eyes for a moment and see if you can find all four corners of your feet. The mounds of your big toes, the mounds of your little toes, and your inner and outer heel. See if you can press firmly onto all four corners of both feet, grounding down into the earth. And then open your eyes, step your feet apart, four to four and a half feet. Turn your left toes in and your right foot out. So the entire thigh spins out to the side. And then bring your arms up to shoulder height. We're not gonna do anything fancy. We're just gonna go straight over. So as you prepare for Uttita Trikonasana, place your right hand on the block. Take your left hand to your hip and open your chest. Keep your head at neutral. And just for the sake of keeping a thread through the practice today, I want you to find all four corners of both feet again. And when we start to stretch the legs, different areas of the feet are pulled and pushed. So we may have to work a little harder to press the inner edge of the right foot or work a little harder to get the back outer heel down. But see if you can find those surfaces Create strength, create a foundation, and then raise your arms straight up. And today, turn your head and look up at your thumb. Good, take your head back to neutral. Pull from your left wrist, take the block with you, come all the way up. Turn your right foot in, spin your left leg and foot out. Take the block to the opposite side, again on the high setting. 
If you're used to doing it on the low setting, it's fine. Arms come up, straight out of your shoulders, and then over you go. Left hand comes to the block, right hand comes to your hip. Find all four corners of both feet. Ground down into the floor evenly and begin to open your chest. So sometimes when we're feeling anxiety or a frantic or nervous energy, it's good to channel that energy into a physical practice. So with your pose set, bring your right arm straight up and then turn your head and look at your right thumb. Breathe. Don't lose the work in your feet. Stay present. Every time you need to remind yourself of this present moment, bring your awareness back to your breath. And then take your head back to neutral. Pull from your right wrist, come all the way up. Take the block with you. Turn your left foot in, spin your right leg and foot out. Place the block on the high setting for Uttita Parsva Konasana. When you go to bend your knee, you wanna act as if you're bending the outer leg and the inner leg the same amount at the same time. So release your inner groin to your inner knee as you bend your right knee to 90 degrees. And then take your right hand to the block on the upright setting. Left hand comes to your hip today. Ground down through all four corners of the feet. Again, we're looking for balance. It's not that every single day you're going to those four points, but today we're looking for a strong foundation, one that will anchor us to the earth. So with your knee bent, I want you to extend your left arm down your side body and then windmill it up overhead, stretching your left side body. Bring your upper arm in line with your ear. And then today, turn your head and look up at your bicep. Good, take your head back to neutral. Pull from your left wrist, come all the way up. Take the block with you. Turn your right foot in, spin your left leg and foot out. Take the block to the high setting. You can bring your hands to your hips. Again, bending the left knee to 90 degrees evenly on the inner and outer leg. So that requires that you move slow. Left hand comes to the block, right hand comes to your hip. Ground down through both feet. And then extend your right arm down your side body and slowly, methodically, Windmill your arm up and overhead. Bringing your right upper arm in line with your ear. From there, turn your head and look at your right bicep. Good, bring your head back to neutral. Pull from your right wrist, come all the way up. 
Turn your left foot in and walk your feet together for a Tadasana. Again, taking that little bit of space between your feet today. Ground down through both feet. Hands come down by your sides. Bring your awareness back to your breath. The breath is the easiest way into the present moment. It's the vehicle into this present moment. Because really the present moment is all that we have. So the unknown, the anxiety, the worry, we can save that and ground down into this present moment, moment by moment, day by day, month by month. Now pick up a bolster, or if you don't have a bolster, you can use a couple of blankets folded or towels. But you're gonna take a bolster for Bharad Vajasana. We're gonna take the twist. I'm gonna show you first from the front, and then I'm gonna show you from the back. So from the front, you're going to sit your right buttocks onto the bolster and the left buttocks will be off. Then you're gonna swing your legs to the left and I'll show you the setup of the feet. Your right hand comes behind you, your left arm crosses over your body. You'll take a deep inhalation and lift your chest and then exhale to twist. So from the back, when you swing your feet to the left, your right foot points straight out to the side and your left foot, left leg comes into Virasana so that your toes point straight back. And again, you'll take your right hand behind, left hand crosses over to twist. So here's the feet. I'm gonna turn it around now. Swing my feet to the left. So again, le right sitting bone is up on the height. Left sitting bone lands right on your right heel or in that vicinity. Right arm comes behind, left arm crosses over. Take a deep inhalation, lift your chest, and exhale to twist. Every inhalation lift, extend, every exhalation twist. Move with your breath. Allow your mind to stay present in this moment. Take one more full inhale. Exhale to unwind. Change the legs, so straighten your legs out in front of you. Shift onto your left sitting bone and then sweep your feet to the right. So this time, your left leg, left foot will point straight out and the right ankle sits on top of your left arch. Take your left arm behind you, cross your right arm over your body. Inhale, lift your chest and exhale, twist. Inhale, lift, exhale, twist. 
Use your breath to keep you in the present moment. Use your breath to tether you to the earth. And then take one more full inhalation and exhale, unwind. Now I want you to grab a chair and it doesn't have to be a yoga chair. If you do have a yoga chair, great. If you don't, a dining room chair would be just fine. So you need your bolster or something to elevate your buttocks on a blanket and a chair. So I'm gonna take the blanket and I'm just gonna put it on the chair seat for comfort. There's two options here. So if you're comfortable on the floor, you can sit flat on the floor and take Paschimottanasana supported. So notice my legs are straight, my feet are together. I'm gonna to pull this chair in. I'm not looking for a deep forward bend. I'm actually looking to bring this chair quite close so that I can rest my forehead, my arms, and that I can become calm, that I can start to calm the agitations of the mind, calm the anxieties of the heart. This position will be difficult for some of you. So if you need a little bit of elevation, you can sit up on a bolster And then you can come forward. Stack your forearms and rest your forehead on your arms. Or you could even build a little bit of elevation on the chair seat. But notice that my back is round. I'm not reaching forward. I'm simply softening my belly. Softening my back. Soften the muscles of your face. And turn your attention inside. And you'll notice right away that there's a sense of calm, even if it's fleeting even if you just see it for a moment. See if you can call that back into your presence. Use the roundness of your back to breathe into your back body. Let your head become heavier and heavier as it rests on your arms or the chair seat. And feel a sense of coolness, a sense of warmth at the same time, a cooling of the mind and a warmth and comfort of the body. Let go of your belly. Release the back of your neck. Let go of your belly again. As we need constant reminders when we're in that energy of anxiety, fear, worry, 
We grip the abdomen. We brace against what is to come. But instead, can we surrender? Can we know that we've done our part? And that surrender is all that there is. Allow the skin of your face, your cheeks, your lips to become heavy, released. Checking in with your belly on a moments by moments basis, knowing that as soon as you turn your attention away, the grip comes back. And that same grip that occupies your abdomen, occupies your neck and your shoulders, that feeling of uneasiness, soften there and go inward. And now very slowly, come back up to center, not making any fast or harsh movements, but simply raising your head Allowing yourself to find a simple cross-legged seat. And then bring your hands back to your thighs. Let your shoulders drop down your back with ease without you having to put tremendous effort Feel the beat of your heart. And then join your palms together at chest level. Close your eyes. We'll chant one ohm together to remind us that we are together. No matter what happens, take a deep inhalation Gently bow your head. Release your hands down, palms up. Just 
slowly raise your head up and gently open your eyes, bringing you back to this present moment in time. So I encourage you over these next days, weeks, months, to find those practices that ground you, whether that's in yoga or meditation or it's taking a hike or going for a run or playing with your children. Find those things that bring you peace, balance, and make the time to do them. Even if it's just a short practice like we did today. And if you need just a little bit more, you can check out my Yoga for Anxiety video on this channel, which will take you through a series of supported forward bends like we just finished. So if you're feeling like you want to go inside take a little bit of a deeper introspection, then you could go into that practice next. So from my heart to yours, stay grounded, stay strong, know that you are love and that you are loved. Namaskar. <laughs>